going on in the Straits of Mackinac. You see, there's a uh, 61-year-old pipeline. You maybe didn't know this. Going really very near the Mackinac Bridge through the Straits of Mackinac. And uh, there are two oil pipelines. Go from Superior, Wisconsin, through the Upper Peninsula, underwater, through the Straits, down to the Lower Peninsula, and it connects in a hub in Sarnia. And 23 million gallons of oil and other petroleum products, natural gas, liquids, go through the Straits every single day. And um, you remember back in 2010, it was the same company, Enbridge, that had an oil spill. It was a ruptured pipeline. And so people are concerned about the Straits. And uh, the word from David Schwab, who's a research scientist at the University of Michigan Water Center, says a rupture of those pipelines running through the Straits would be the worst possible place for a spill on the Great Lakes with catastrophic results. He says, quote, I can't think in my experience of another place in the Great Lakes where an oil spill would have as wide an impact in an area in a short time as the Straits of Mackinac. On the other end of our AT&T line, returning to the program, Andy Buxbaum, who is the regional executive director of the National Wildlife Federation's Great Lake region. And uh, he has nightmares, I would think, about this, as would we all. Welcome back, sir. Uh, thank you, Michael Patrick. It's good to be here. Is there some reason to think that, um, you know, they actually have animation now, too, of what this would look like uh, if it lasted for 12 hours? It would be a million gallons. Is there some reason to think that that could happen? Unfortunately, uh, yeah, there is. Um, the uh, Enbridge has done its own um, analyses, and uh, based on uh, um, shutting off a spill within about seven minutes, it believes about a million, one point, up to 1.5 million gallons could be spilled in the Straits. And that's if there's a shut off in seven minutes. Um, mm. It took 17 hours for the company to shut off the spill in Kalamazoo. And um, if there was that kind of delay, then you're looking at a spill in the Straits about the size of the XN LD spill, uh, more like 10 million gallons. And as we know, that's taken decades and still is really not completely cleaned up there. So um, it really does give me nightmares. You uh, say it would be a ecological disaster for the Great Lakes, impacting shipping and tourism. How would that be? Well, if there was a spill of, of any significant magnitude there, um, they'd actually have to shut down, probably have to shut down the straits to navigation to get it cleaned up. You don't want ships, hmm. large tankers, or any ships running through to um, oil. Um, it's a, a fire and explosive, explosion hazard. Um, plus, you, you have oil coating Mackinac Island. You have oil coating Babylon Island, oil would go all the way as far east as Beaver, or west of Beaver Island, as far west as Sheboygan, really within about three weeks. So um, you, you look, think about all of the fish, the birds, the wildlife, you think about the tourism, recreation, and navigation. Uh, you just think about Michigan's brand. What happens to pure Michigan if, uh, if there's a big oil spill there? It's gone. I mean, you, you, can't, play, you can't talk about pure Michigan. As the images beaming around the rest of the country are of this massive oil spill in the most iconic, iconic place in the Great Lakes. So the, uh, what would alleviate your fears and the fears of Senator Stavanaugh and Senator Levin and really anybody listening right now? Well, number one is we'd like to see that pipeline rerouted or replaced. It's 61 years old, as you noted. Um, it hasn't been replaced. We know Enbridge has been doing testing on the pipeline. Uh, we certainly would like, we need to see, everybody needs to see the testing to see um, the level of integrity. Um, we've heard from Enbridge, they claim that the pipeline is, is very secure. Uh, they made similar claims about the pipeline in Kalamazoo uh, just weeks before it ruptured. So, you know, we, you know, finally they assure people that it's, that the pipeline is, has integrity, but uh, they've got to show it, they've got to prove it. And then when that's done, there's got, you know, all infrastructure uh, eventually fails. And what is the schedule for their, their, that they have for replacing that pipeline? 